Hey guys, so today is Sunday and I like going through my freezer and refrigerator, seeing what I have now that I'm trying to meal plan a little better. And although I don't technically come up with meals, but I do like the meats prepared and I, you know, think a little bit ahead, even though the whole meal is not prepped. So I, I guess that might be called batch cooking. So I found three pounds of beef frozen. So I do like the ground beef already made and browned with some onions in it. So I'm going to do that because obviously there's so many things I can make with that. Uh, as you've seen in the other videos, you know, pasta sauce, taco meat, uh, enchiladas, uh, and of course the boy's favorite, cheeseburger mac and cheese. I got to come up with some more ground beef recipes. So I'm going to have to look into my arsenal of cookbooks. Then I found these were in there too. I mean, look at the date. <laughs> but they're frozen. Um, we like the bruschetta one. So I had never tried the Southwest season. So I bought them, stuck them in the freezer, and I haven't made them. So I think I'm going to brown this up too. And um, see what I can make with that. Um, do that. And then I have... The Trader Joe heirloom chicken that I haven't made yet. So I'm going to throw that in the Instapot, take all the meat off, do that so that I can have um, uh, the meat for something, um, anything. You know you know what? It's good. You can make chicken salad. Um, you can throw it in pasta with vegetables and make a sauce with it. So I'm going to do that so the chicken's made. And then... I have this package of boneless, skinless chicken th tenderloins, um, and John's going to grill them tonight. So this is what we'll have for dinner, and these I'll prep for the week to make it easy. And I know I still have some meatballs there, so this is meal prep number four. Okay, so I have the meat in the pan. Browning it up. I have an onion that I'm going to chop up and throw that in there. So that gets the browned, the ground beef going for future meals. So the beef is almost all browned. And I have decided to do an, uh, an enchilada bake because I have uh, some corn tortillas in my refrigerator that need to be used up. So... I will season this with my taco seasoning and make an enchilada bake for the week. Stick it in the refrigerator. So let that get all cooked and, um, and season. So now I have my Instapot out so that I could throw that chicken in there. And I decided with this chicken, I'm going to make um, chicken biscuit top chicken pot pie for the boys. They really love that. Haven't done that in a while, so that will be what that's going to turn out to be. Okay, so I got my chicken in there. We're going to add a cup of water. And then the lid. We're going to put this on, what is it? Ceiling. There you go, ceiling. It says it. I don't know if you can see it there. Ceiling and then venting. I think you could see it. Okay, so manual. And because it's still semi-frozen, I'm going to do it for 60 minutes. And then it'll just go. There. Okay, so that's cooking while my beef is browning. So I'm going to lower that because that's almost done. I don't know if I'm going to season all of it. I mean, this is three pounds of meat. I, I don't think I need three pounds of meat in my beef enchilada lasagna. And I got to see if I have any more enchilada, enchilada sauce packages, packets from my Epicure. I got to check that first because I don't even know if I have that sauce. So then this is that Southwestern chicken. Look at that, it has corn and black beans on in it. Of 
So I'm going to brown this up so it's already ready to go into a dish. Ooh, you probably could throw it and make a tacos out of it. Um, so the dish I'm thinking of is when we had eaten at Cheesecake Factory a long time ago. They had this creamy chipotle pasta um, that had, uh, I think it was chunks of chicken, but it had uh, peppers, onions, I remember corn, I remember uh, even asparagus, like a primavera, but the creamy sauce, so, you know, a cream sauce, had chipotle flavor to it. So I think I'm going to do that with this. I'm going to throw this in a pasta and make like Alfredo and add chipotle to it and toss it all about. I think the boys will like that. Mm, and it smells, you smell that southwestern smell. So this produced a lot of oil. I do want to drain that before I continue. And Instapot is still going. Okay, so I drained the fat from the meat. So this is only half the meat. The other half, I'm gonna put in um, a container bag and freeze it for something else. And then to this meat, I'm gonna add taco seasoning. So I got this one from Costco. So mix that in there. So two Tex-Mex dishes, I guess you can call that. So season this. And this is going to be enchiladas or baked enchilasagna. Um, come on. I do have an Epicure enchilada pack. Like this one, I would definitely buy again. That makes enchilada sauce so much easier to make. And then I had um, these corn tortillas, so I want to use those up. So that's going to be dinner number one or one dinner for the week. Oops, sorry. All right, so that's good. Um, and I don't have to add salt to that because there's salt in that seasoning blend. And then this, very tasty, is already seasoned, has corn and black beans. Yummy. Um, and it also has, it looks like poblanos or jalapenos. Um, that's going to go on a creamy chipotle pasta. So as soon as that cools off, I'm going to put that in a Ziploc bag. Um, so that's two dinners. Third dinner is going to be, look at how it comes together as I'm doing it. Um, chicken pot pie. I'm going to get, I'll debate whether I buy already made biscuits, um, like Pillsbury dough or something like that, or make my own. I'll think about it. Um, and then a potential dinner number four. So now this one I can make macaroni and cheese because the boys love when I make cheeseburger macaroni and cheese. So that could be dinner number four. And then this is tonight's dinner. And of course, one night it'll be all leftovers. So I'm going to put this together and just wait till those cool down. Okay, so I oiled my pan, and you've seen this plenty of times, but I'm going to layer the tortillas down and make the layers. So there's layer one of the corn tortillas, one layer of meat, another layer of corn tortillas, second layer of meat. I probably could have put more meat, but you know what? That's fine. And last layer of tortillas. So I'm going to make this sauce and then top it with cheese. But we'll put the sauce when we're going to make it. So I'll just make the sauce and jar it up. So that is done. I just have to make that sauce. I'm going to package this one up. And this is the remaining ground beef. So this could be cheeseburger mac and cheese one night. That's not seasoned. Um, and then this one I'm going to put in here. And that would be for the creamy chipotle pasta, which I do need to get some cream. So I'll pick that up during the week. 
So it's all coming along, and the Instant Pot still, the chicken has 32 minutes left. So here's that Southwestern chicken meat, the beef, the enchiladas. I'll make this. And then, look at, I still have a whole bunch left. So I think what I'm going to do is I've seen people cut them up into halves, quarters actually, and make tortilla chips. Just uh, throw them on a baking sheet, spray them with some oil, a little bit of salt, throw them in the oven. So I'm going to do that one night, maybe the night we do that. Um, yeah, just to get them, use them, because I don't want to make another enchil lasagna. We have eaten quite a bit of them. We do make a lot. We do make it a lot, so... Um, but this has been in the refrigerator for a while, so I do need to use them up. So I'll make some, to oops, sorry. I'll make some tortilla chips with it. I also have, I think I have an avocado in here. Yes, I do. Look at that. And I have some in the refrigerator. Nice. All right. Need to make that. Okay, so I need water. I always add more water than what it asks for. And some tomato paste, which I have frozen. So you do have to microwave it and you need coconut oil but I don't have any limes or lime juice or lemon juice or anything so I do need to pick that up so good thing I'm not making this tonight so at least it gives me a chance to go to the store and pick up some limes and lemons so there's the tomato paste yeah I freeze it I flatten it and freeze it so then I could just break it and then some coconut oil I don't measure, but I did two cups of water instead of one and a half. And then you add the packet. So this is one that I'll continue to buy is the enchilada. I noticed the enchilada the sauce, the um, honey garlic meatballs, definitely. The chicken, chine, uh, chicken fried rice was really good too. Um, added, the, added a nice seasoning to the Asian rice that I would make. Um, those are the three so far. So now we're gonna microwave this so it gets all melty and then I'll stick it in a jar and refrigerate it for when it is time. Okay. Mix it up. There we go. Oh, I'll get those spices in there. Didn't mix it up too well. But that smells good. I'll add a little more water to that. You know what? I'll do this. There we go. Yep, so this is definitely one I would continue to get. And I made it with the black beans, and they were really good. There we go. The way the recipe is supposed to be made. So there is, I'm going to let that cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll let that cool down before I put the lid on. So I just got to aluminum foil this. I'm going to put that in the refrigerator. And these two I'm going to put in the freezer. And those two dinners are made. And while the Instapot is still working on that chicken, I'm going to season these tenderloins for dinner tonight with the Italian-style sofrito. It's always a popular flavor. I'm making it with Alfredo pasta tonight. This flavor from Trader Joe's has been a hit in this family. Nope, it's still a little frozen, but we're not cooking this right now. So I'm going to let that thaw and marinate over the next couple hours. Oh yeah, it's still frozen. Sorry. Um, yep, so I have a cover. I'm going to cover that. And let me tell you, this stuff, you mix it with olive oil. Great dipping sauce for Italian bread. Just saying. So the chicken is done, but it's still on warm for 19 minutes. Um, 
I went to release the uh, steam and I mean, it started splattering. So I'm just gonna do a natural venting. You just move it to vent and eventually, ooh, yeah, something like that. Eventually that'll go down and when that little silver button drops down, then that means you can open it, the pressure's gone. But right now there's still a lot of pressure in there and it's hot, so let's just let it sit there and um, I'll remove the chicken soon. Okay. So that's been sitting there for an hour and nine minutes. This went down, so that means you can open it now without it exploding. And look at the heat on that chicken. Meat's just falling right off. So it's still really hot. Um, it's gonna be hot to handle. So I'm gonna let that cool down and then I'll take the meat off. So here's the chicken off the bone. Gonna put that in the bag. There are the bones. Discarding them. I mean, you can make stock if you want, but there's so much grease and, uh, what do you call it, skin and everything. So I'm gonna throw that out. So I have some butter in here. And I'm gonna chop up some garlic and I have some Parmesan uh, grated and cream. So there's the garlic. Cream. I got a pint here. Go. My pasta's boiling. Okay. Yeah, cheese. Let that melt. And I'm gonna drain the pasta. That's ready. And then pour it in. There we go. And then I'm gonna make Caesar salad with the fresh romaine from the farmer's market. Okay. The pasta is ready. Pour that in. Oh, one more noodle left. Okay. Turn off the heat. Oh, look at that. And then it just thickens up with the pasta a little bit. There we go. So that's, oh, sorry. So that's the dinner tonight. Chicken is ready from the grill. And now Caesar. And there it is, plated up. So there's the meal prep. Beef enchiladas, chicken for biscuit, chicken pot pie. I mean, this is the plan. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Um, that's southwestern ground chicken for some chipotle pasta. What's this again? Just regular ground beef um, with onions, so maybe um, cheeseburger, mac and cheese. And then that's the enchilada enchilada sauce. So I'll stick these in the freezer and there's my meal prep for the week. So here is the baked enchilasagna. That was meal prep from meal prep number four. All done with some lettuce, salsa, guacamole, sour cream all laid out. And there it is, plated up. Got some avocado, some sour cream, lettuce, and then I put some of this Trader Joe's cilantro dressing. That's dinner tonight.